The marketing strategy has definitely changed a ton over the last couple of years. Three years ago, we were kind of just doing our own thing and we relied on outside marketing agencies to do a lot of the actual work. But as we continued to grow as a company, we realized, hey, these agencies can't really keep up with us. We need to start bringing this in-house and start doing this where we have full control of how much growth we, we experience. Every time we went to a new marketing agency, we had to redo our website and that was awesome as well because that's about 20 or 30 grand that we spend every time doing that too so it was just frustrating because there was never a solution that they were giving us besides we need to spend more money we get into a certain point in size of a company where you know, you don't want to sustain putting in twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars a month into Google Ads. That was kind of where we're at, and then just started looking at elsewhere for how we can do it more efficiently and save on the ad spend, more or less. I believe the ask uh, you answered came from a recommendation from another business. I was the first person at the company to read the book, and I immediately pushed it on to Brian, who's one of our co-founders. Like Brian, check this book out. He read it, then the whole entire company read it, and we realized, okay, this is the direction we want to start going. We want to provide value to homeowners, whether or not they're going to be a potential customer for us. So I think we tried for about a year, and we realized that, hey, this is not going to work out. We need some help, and we need somebody to coach us up on how to implement this as a company together. I think as soon as we started, Brian and Brad realized they made the right decision. We were definitely moving in the right direction. Before we did impact, sales and marketing were definitely separate groups. And so it was, it was more marketing, sends leads over, sales takes leads, sales sells jobs. So they never really meshed. And, and through this process, we not only are constantly in communication and working together, but we actually try to work together now. And so this has, in its way, meshed us to that way we can understand each other a little bit more. The average day would have been leads would come in through our call center and get assigned to the sales rep, to myself or somebody else. At that point, they weren't very qualified because we, we were not doing any kind of pre-qualification besides the fact that people said that they had a foundation-related issue. A lot of people do not know what foundation-related issues are. I've always done in my sales process a, a pre-qualification aspects and now I actually have a backing to do more of that and to say we're not a good fit. But it was pretty cool to see as far as mostly our veteran, um, some of our veteran sales department, project design specialists, we're gonna call them, embracing the change. And, you know, Mark, who, you know, was one of our most seasoned sales reps, had his best year last year as far as just adapting and not willing to give discounts and going out on leads that he shouldn't be going out onto and just focusing on the right the right people we want to work with. So since we implemented the Ask Me Answer, um, our sales has grown um, over the course of the year. So the uh, year before we did roughly seven and a half million in sales. Over the course of the year of implementing and adding and changing our sales process, marketing process, uh, the company grew by about $3 million. So we finished just around 10 and a half million for last year. So pretty good uh, increase for the year, um, but we're also seeing it so far this year, like our goals are now based off of the actual numbers we're getting to be able to make better growth expectations for our company and, you know, down the road for every department within our company. I mean, I could see the results obviously, because I said our, we were adding more crews, we were, our backlog went up to 16 weeks at one time last year. Um, and then I get reports, I mean, Justin and Zeth, Simpson report as far as like the traffic that we were driving to our website and stuff too was starting to be pretty incredible. Some of my favorite results that we've seen have been with the sales team and their their closing percentages. Just how more how much more effective our team is at closing jobs because they're so much more effective at qualifying people and not wasting their time going out to inspections that aren't going to equate to anything for us. Um, so they're still able to provide value to homeowners, but they're not wasting the homeowner's time and they're not wasting their own time. I would say my results, my sales percentage um, since pre-qualifying has gone way up. I sold a job this morning about an hour and a half ago, um, and it was a job I went to last Tuesday. I just feel like I'm running less appointments and having better results. 
And trust me, I've been doing it a certain way for years. I mean, you always have to evolve, uh, no matter with what you're doing, whether you're playing professional golf or, you know, being uh, in foundation sales. There, there always has to be minor changes. As far as like changes since we started implementing it or implemented the Ask You Answer, just being able to have control. One of our ag previous agencies wanted to charge us like another X amount of dollars for every article. And it's like, your articles suck, why would I pay for this? And if they couldn't show you like what it actually brought to your company as far as like traffic and stuff. So. HubSpot has been a fantastic CRM for us. Uh, as a construction company, we've used a couple different CRMs that were kind of industry or niche specific, but it didn't give us any data. So it was great for our production or operations departments because we could organize the logistics very well in those CRMs, but it gave us no data in terms of sales or marketing. So now that we're using HubSpot and getting everybody to implement uh, and utilize HubSpot for their whole entire sales process, it's given us data that wasn't even imaginable. So now that we have all this data, it's allowing us as a company to really make data-driven decisions on the business and how we want to move forward in different aspects of the business. Whereas before, we were making decisions that were purely based off of emotion or gut feeling, and now we're actually able to see, this is the data, this is what's happening, okay, we can make that decision now and, and move forward. Or If another business owner asked me, I would definitely you know, recommend it and give you know high praise for it. The one thing I would make sure that they are aware is just the amount of time and you know dedication that they need to have to be involved with it. Most, I mean, business owners have no idea as far as the in-depth and everything else too when it comes to marketing. So I would recommend it, but I would make sure that you have the, the people in place first. So having control over basically marketing and website and basically, you know, more or less our our success in our, is our, in our own hands now. Um, it's a wonderful feeling um, because like I said before, it was just constant hatred and aggravation and knowing that we can do it in house and knowing that I, you know, Brian adjusting right down the office and the hallway and stuff to be like, hey, you know, what, what's going on here, on here? And they are able to figure it out and fix it instead of relying on somebody else who's probably putting in maybe a total of four hours a week on our website is, like I said, it's a good feeling.